and so I guess how do you feel about um, the uh, I guess um, what 30 year olds today face compared to those in 75 and where do you find yourself you know I, I know that a lot of my peers in my age group has um, kind of mounted uh, an incredible amount of student loan debt and that has really kind of shaped what has um, been the process for owning a home starting a family you know there's um, finding themselves you know behind the eight ball on that more often than not uh, I am probably one of the lucky ones in that I have been able to buy a home, you know, start a family, and kind of uh, eliminate my student loan debt. And and why is that? Uh, you know, I just think some of it's luck, <laughs> some of it's planning. But you know, just when I graduated college, I you know came out with the attitude that I wanted to eliminate my debt as soon as possible. So um, there, no new car or anything like that. I, I'm still driving around in my 98 Honda um, and you know just that was my goal some other people you know uh, of our age group um, don't have that goal necessarily they've got other things that they want to do but uh, I was lucky in that I was focused on driving down my student loan debt and so that's kind of opened up some of the other things I'm able to do um, as a result of having that knocked out and having um, some other money that can go to towards starting a family buying a house yeah, um, and I guess what's your reaction to, to to these numbers, to these trends? You know, where um, one in three thirty-year-olds today, you know, is married, has a home, uh, is not in school, is you know, um, living on their own. You know, it's I'm almost surprised it's that high. <laughs> you know, with the student student debt crisis, you know, um, that we're we're currently facing, I think we need to figure out uh, a way to kind of eliminate some of those loans and uh, you know whether it's use of a trade school or but that's you know we, we've got to do something because this is you know the American dream is owning a home starting a family and we're pushing it off 10 years just because of student loan debt and um, it's kind of it's frustrating to see that um, you can see it's happening and there's it's almost like it's instead of changing it's happened more rap rapidly and uh, I think that's something we definitely need to um, get a, a stranglehold on. Yeah, I think back in 1975, less technology, less things getting in the way. Um, it was a simpler time. I think now the technology has caused a lot of, and also increased expenses, has um, brought brought a whole new level of stress yeah. into our lives, and also maybe delayed. Um, <clears throat> having a family and kids and that sort of thing. Okay. And so, w what I guess, what's your um, circumstances or you kind of your situation? You know, what do you see as some of the, the biggest issues or challenges that you're facing? Um, debt, college, college loans. Um, just you know, I just take care of myself, and I still think that it's it's hard to do that in today's society. You know, working quite a bit and um, just being available. Yeah, it, it's just a harder. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not as simple as it used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, um, uh, single, not married, renting instead of owning. Can you talk a little bit about maybe some of the the decision making that went into that, or some of the pressures that you face in those regards? Yeah. Um, I am single, um, no kids, and honestly, I, I give working single mothers out there props because it would be very hard to do that, do that in today's society, um, as well as just young families just having to make sure that they're paying off their college loans and their house payments and, and also the cost of having kids is expensive. So for myself, it's just the, the exposure there of having to pay for my own everything um, is hard, I think, because I, like I said, I still have college loans. I am renting instead of owning. I have car payments. Um, you know, it's it's an expensive time that we live in. And so um, what, uh, I guess, are, are your kind of initial thoughts or maybe, um, you know, what do you see as a takeaway from some of the differences between what 30-year-olds today are facing compared to uh, what they faced in 1975? Well, I would say that it is much more difficult to graduate from college without debt. That would be the biggest thing. Um, 
and the job opportunities that are available for college students now, I believe, can be, it's a difficult task for individuals to graduate and then get a job immediately with an income that can pay for not only their college debt, but also if they want to purchase a home or if they want to rent or they want to be independent. The jobs that are available are sometimes ones that are not high income opportunities and so I think it's very difficult for individuals who graduate at this point to secure jobs and be completely independent without relying on parents or or um, you know other individuals in their families. Okay, um, but uh, so you, you, you uh, said that you both see a good and bad uh, in this. Can you maybe talk about some of the, the good things that you see um, that this generation is, is seeing compared to what you know you saw in 75? Oh, absolutely. I think that there are more opportunities for women. I think there are more opportunities for minorities. I think that it's much more acceptable to not have to uh, come out of high school or college and get married and have children and have that whole societal role that's planned for you. I think that, again, there are many more opportunities for individuals out there now. I think people can be um, independent um, and be socially accepted, but at the same point, um, there are consequences, I think, that come with that also. Can you talk about those real quick? Well, again, um, <laughs> when you have so much debt or you have so many um, opportunities that aren't there anymore, I would say, especially for individuals that, um, let's say, education isn't one of their main concerns. Having a high school diploma at this point, it's difficult to get a high paying job and that's where I think some individuals are then able to go into trade type opportunities, but sometimes I think they're being viewed then as um, less educated, less um, professional, and that's really not the case at all. They can make as much money sometimes now as those individuals that are graduating from college. But society, I think, then too sometimes looks down upon them if they don't have that college degree. So you kind of have that fine line of, you know, what you want to do. When we were, when we were growing up, our parents had one TV, one car, one garage or no garage. So the expectations for us were much less. We were used to doing with less. Our own children, on the other hand now, you know, most families have two, three, four TVs, two or three car garages, two or three cars. That's what the children have to look forward to. That's what they expect to have. To begin with. To begin with. Where our expectations were much less, thank goodness, because our financial wherewithal was much less also. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think one of your greatest difficulties were when you were trying to raise family? I think a balance to uh, a balance to decide what you needed, what you wanted, you know, and you, you definitely had to get everything that you needed. Right. And only a little of what you, I mean, back then we could only probably get a little of what we wanted extra and I think striking a balance between those things was really important for us it was never a problem of where we're going to make it I mean we knew that that was going to be uh, we were supportive of each other or yeah there, there was no problem that way and we always told our kids when they were little you know we always said you know you'll, you'll have everything you need here at home and you'll have some things that you want you know, but it won't be everything that you want. You know. And now the wants, I think, or the the needs seem to be much more. Yeah, they feel that the needs are so much more. 